Hi everyone, this is Trish Kendall. I am delivering a keynote speech today and right now I'm thinking about all of the things as an inspirational speaker, as a keynote speaker, all the things that uh, need to get done or that we need to do the day of the speech. You know, you could check, check. Of course, there's a gazillion things leading up to the day of the speech, but I'm just reflecting on the things that need to happen the day of the speech. And for me, as an inspirational speaker or as a keynote speaker, there are uh, two things that are really non-negotiables. And the one is creating and being deliberate about creating the time and the space, the mental space, to interact with people before I ever walk on the stage. Now, I tend to do that uh, as bookend experiences to the inspirational speeches or keynote speeches that uh, I deliver. But right now what I'm focused on is I mean the minutes, uh, the 10 minutes, the 15 minutes, the 20 minutes prior to delivering the speech. And this is not the time to be in my head thinking about, oh my gosh, you know, for, for this inspirational speech, I'm telling a new story. And do I got that story down? Or uh, for this stage, I've blocked out the, the physicality in this way. Do I have that right? No, 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 no. <laughs> that stuff is all done and put to bed. This is um, preparing and practicing so much beforehand that the moments before, the, the, the minutes before going on the stage, I am completely not distracted and I am connecting or trying to connect with individuals that are there. That could be the event planner, that could be the client, it could be audience members that are coming in, it could be uh, the tech person that's just making sure that everything is set up correctly, uh, it could be catering. So there's a whole bunch of people and of course when the audience starts coming in that is just awesome because that just fuels me and I can connect with individuals on a one-on-one -on -one basis just for a second. So that's a non-negotiable. As an inspirational speaker, uh, as a keynote speaker, the other non-negotiable for me, uh, the day of delivering the speech and, and checking off all the things that we need to do, uh, is creating the time and the space, so being deliberate about the time and the space for my moment before. Now, the moment before, I didn't make this up. You know, I learned this at acting school a whole long time ago and my uh, speaking coach and consultant over the last however many years, Nick Morgan really hammers this. And especially with me as an inspirational speaker, there are um, stories that I tell and um, emotion that I'm evoking. And so we have worked on through the years, what is my moment before? And I have a lot of different things that I pull from, but what this means is, is we're like right before I go on the stage or any speaker goes on the stage, taking a minute, absolutely no distractions. And being in the place of uh, what is the scene, what is happening, right before, what do I want to be thinking about? What emotion do I want to evoke? What memory do I want to embody before walking on the stage? And uh, it could be that I'm pulling a memory and thinking about the smell of that memory, thinking about the physicality of that memory, thinking about um, the taste of the memory. You know, if we think about all of our senses, and, but I'm deliberate with, I wanna evoke uh, joy, or I wanna evoke love, or could be despair, could be shame, could be uh, 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 play. You know, whatever it is, there is a moment before you walk on the stage that you are embodying. And for me, I pull into and pull from the countless memories that I have uh, and the experiences that I have that have made me who I am. So I believe you don't have to be an inspirational speaker or a keynote speaker to think about these two things. Uh, 
so many people are in positions and in roles where uh, maybe you're delivering a presentation to someone or telling a story or you're uh, orchestrating and uh, delivering a finalist meeting for a particular prospective client or a really important meeting for your client, whatever it is. Like what are the things that have to happen that day and what are the things that are non-negotiables? My non-negotiables are creating the time and the space to interact with people and connect with them one-on-one, -on -one, human to human. So that means I gotta be totally prepared beforehand. And non-negotiable is creating the time and the space to embody my moment before. Embody the physical, the mental, the emotional state of that moment before. Thanks for being along this journey with me. Choose and become. Oh,